Well, I um, lived in Indonesia for a couple of years, uh, sorry, a couple of months, and uh, studied language in Yogyakarta. And uh, from there, I first discovered Gamelan, went to some concerts and uh, Wayang Kulit performances. And when I came back to Melbourne, realized that there were people doing it here in Melbourne too. So I then went along and joined a group and I've been playing it now for six or seven years. Wow, so what instrument do you play specifically? Uh, at the moment I play the uh, Saron de Mung, but I've played a wide variety. I've played uh, different types of Saron, Slentem, uh, Kanong, and uh, some other instruments as well. And how does one stick to the rhythm? It must be very hard to keep in time. Does it take a lot of practice? It does. Um, it's something that you've just got to pick up and feel as you go. But uh, the main things are the, the leader of the group plays the drums and you always got to watch out for what he's doing. Also, um, you can keep your rhythm really by watching other members in the group as well. And everyone can, uh, you know, if you miss your spot, if you miss your note, you can always pick it up by watching what other people are doing. And finally, have you enjoyed tonight's performances? Yeah, it's been wonderful. I've loved it. Uh, the Mahindra group has been sensational. Really enjoyed the uh, the rock gamelan uh, combination that we heard earlier. We're hearing some of it now, actually. And um, no, it's a tribute to uh, everyone who's organised it. This is the beast and we're all very, very scared. What's your name? Mr. Chalulu. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you come from? I'm from Bali. I'm from the hell. Yep. I'm from the hell. And we have here a very noble character. What's your name? My name is Mr. Arjuna. <laughs> You just put up a fabulous fight against this beast. Can you tell me what happened and how you feel about it? Yeah, finally I win the 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 war. That's mean like uh, the right uh, against the evil. So finally everything, someone who doing right, gonna be win again the bad thing. That's it. And what's the moral of the story? Uh, from this story, uh, it teach us like uh, better we do the right thing rather than doing something bad. And what do you think about good and evil? Which one's better? I think it's better is evil. <laughs> evil is more better than what the angel. And what are your plans for tonight? <laughs> As an evil monster. No. Go to the nightclub. See, even monsters have a good time. So what exactly is that performance and what do you do? Just like uh, sing together. Just say cha cha like that. Can you give me a demonstration? Yeah, sure. Three, two, one. Just two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, past couple of days. Wow, what a long and esteemed career. Well, you made a really good performance out there. And might I add, it's not just these two who are doing it. When you get a whole group together, it's really thrilling. So this is Oki, a really great bass player tonight. Um, we were very impressed by your performance combining contemporary bass with Indonesian gamelan music. Yeah. What inspired such an interesting combination? Uh, yeah, we just think that uh, this is something that really new for he here in Melbourne. 
because this is my first experience as well so to play with traditional music especially Balinese music so yeah we kind of thought that this is going to be something very interesting so yeah it's pretty cool the original song is using violin so I change it with guitar instead of okay violin. so you replace the violin part with guitar yep. and what do you think that's come out with a good result how do you feel about that well for me yeah it's more rock than, than the original song because you know for the original songs, uh, just like jazz or something, it's, it's not quite rock. Do you think um, mixing the original song with contemporary rock, does it give it a new meaning and a new feeling? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it makes me more uh, enjoy something like it's more powerful. I play bass because of I want to play music, not play bass as an instrument. So it's really my in, uh, my influence is really broad. So it's not just bass player. Basically, yeah. Do you think is that sort of genre of music mixing rock and traditional? Is that popular in Indonesia? Uh, not really, but I hope for the next year or next. I don't know. Maybe for the next time, it will be popular. Do you see more um, mixtures of gamelan and contemporary music coming up in the future? Do you think there's a real um, avenue for that? Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I kind of think that it's really interesting. So if we can do something more like this in the future, it's going to be really interesting. So especially with Indonesian music, not just Balinese music, because we can combine with Japanese music or any other music, Indonesian traditional music. So I kind of hope that we can really do this more in the future. Yeah.